Hi folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Coming with a blog post I want to share with you. This is an interesting new game that's out on the iPad 2. It's only playable on the iPad 2, not the iPad 1 or iPhone or any of those, at least not yet as of this recording. Um, it's called Machinin Machinarium or Machinarium. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, but uh, it's a new game and it's really cool. It kind of has a steampunk, a steampunk effect or kind of an old industrial type thing. If you see movies like Nine and stuff, um, it shares a lot of that uh, resemblance. Uh, it's a beautiful game in the way that it's built, and also it has a, a pretty cool award-winning soundtrack is what they promote it with. Um, and uh, it's pretty interesting in how it, uh, you know, it's a, it's a giant map that you go through. You have to perform different features and functions. Um, there's a thing where you go through and you can... Uh, find hints on how to um, on how to uh, game through the system. It's basically you know a mapping adventure game where you go through and you play this little robot here. And uh, as a little robot going through the game, you uh, figure out how to do different uh, things. Uh, there's different combinations and sequence of strategy that you have to engage in to. Uh, do different parts of the game and be able to be successful at it. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, it is a little slow in the gameplay and the stuff is very complex. Um, it can be kind of a real pain in the butt sometimes to take and uh, um, learn all the different things and get everything right. And, um, the gameplay is a little slow, but uh, other than that, it's pretty interesting. I mean, if you if you don't enjoy high action games, you can move stuff at a very slow pace you can take and engage this game and see what you think of it. Um, for me, it's a little frustrating. It's a little too slow. Um, it's a little too complex in some of the different things they have you do. There's a few quirks to the game where it doesn't sometimes want to work very well. Um, I think they'll probably clean those up here in a bit. But uh, other than that, um, it's an interesting game. I mean, it's kind of interesting uh, in some of the different uh, things you have to learn to do and interactions and the beauty and uh, music of the game are pretty interesting too. So check it out if you want. It's uh, probably worth uh, the few bucks it costs to take and uh, engage the game and uh, check it out and see what the game, see what the game's all about. Um, so uh, be sure to check it out. Thanks for coming by the Chris Show. Bye bye.